Hello YouTube. So I'm going to do something I don't do very often, which is put myself in the videos. In fact, I never do it. However, I thought it would be good for the channels growing a little bit to show you some of the behind the scenes um, items that we do with the operation. I thought I'd start off by showing a video of the piece of equipment that I use to feed with. Since I've had a lot of people asking about it lately, I thought it would be good to give you a visual. So this is a feeder, it's pretty basic, it just has a ram on it and a platform. Um, I'm also feeding with the John Deere 630. The 630's probably the best size per power ratio tractor that I've found so far to feed with. This particular 630 is a 1959 model. It's also a wide front, which is really good in this area where we have a lot of steep hills, a lot of snow, and it works best with our windrowed hay as well. I also failed to mention that right now it's around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so a lot of people have said that they hope that I plug the tractors in when it's that cold. And you'll see. Right here is an external block heater that's plugged in. So the engine should be nice and warm when I go to start it. I also can't fail to mention these two. That's Tip and Dusty. Tip is the German Shepherd on the right. He's a full-blooded, plush-haired German Shepherd. And Dusty, the one on the right, is a lab mixed with a uh, mutt, basically. But if you'll notice, the tip has been absent from a lot of the videos lately. It's because sadly he is getting older and as German Shepherds do, they develop um, arthritis. Tip's got some arthritis in his knees. His hips are doing pretty good, but his knees are starting to give him some trouble. But it's sad leaving him home because he absolutely loves coming out and working with us. I still try to bring him when I can. A little more about the feeder. Um, I believe my uncle made it a few decades ago for when we used to do round bells. Um, my dad had a dairy farm. I grew up on a dairy farm. And there was a time when we were doing bagged hay. So we would do the round bells. We'd bale them pretty green. Basically, it'd be silage. And this feeder used to have a drum mounted on it right here. And the ram, you'd put the bale down on the center of the feeder, or the bagger at the time, and the hydraulic ram would push the bale into the drum, and the drum would then fill up the bags with round bales. You'd put the tractor in neutral, and when you push the bales backwards, um, it would actually push the tractor forward for the length of the bale. Again, I'll just give you a little closer visual. It is connected to the tractor's hydraulic system. The nice thing about the 630 is it does have pretty good hydraulics. John Deere was doing a fairly good work with their hydraulics at the time. Not as good as the new gen, but it does work pretty well. Another thing about the 630, where this is a tractor I'm feeding with, um, the 630 is the last in the line that started with the John Deere Model A. And so it's basically the last of the Model A's. Since we're speaking about the Model A, um, this tractor right here is a 1937 John Deere Model A. I thought it would be fun to show it because it's basically the first John Deere Model A. It's what's called the unstyled. I believe the first model came out in 34. Again, this is in 1937. And the John Deere 630 was discontinued in 1960. So basically they made this line from 34 until 1960.
And there's the dogs getting ready to go do some feeding. You'll notice it is pretty cold this morning. The grass is all frosty, uh, tractors are all frosty. These tractors over here are some future projects, ones that I'd like to restore. Um, this is just a field behind my house in Freedom, Wyoming and Freedom, Idaho. It's a border town. Um, everything you're seeing in the frame is pretty much Wyoming. The road right there by those buildings is what's called State Line Road. Everything to the left of that is Idaho and everything to the right of that is Wyoming. So if we look this direction, pretty much dead center for the camera. Everything to the right is Wyoming. Everything to the left is Idaho. Let's go ahead and get the tractor started and I'll go load up and we'll begin feeding. The whining sound you are hearing is because the hydraulic system is cold. Once it has a minute to idle, that sound will go away. So I live down the road from my parents and my dad's cattle and the hay that we feed the cattle in the winter time is also stored at his house. I just drove the tractor down to my parents' house and I'm going to load the hay up from there and then go out and feed. The tractor that I'm going to load it up with is a, I believe, 64. John Deere 3020. Um, again, this is the old dairy barn. We, mer we milked cattle here until uh, 2010. So again, here's the 3020. It's seen better days. On the front, on the loader, we have just forks. Uh, it's the easiest way to load these big bales. It's an old farmhand loader. Uh, when I was a kid, it was red. I'm not really sure when and why they painted it, but so 
there it is, the John Deere 3020. Here's the other side of the 3020. It's also parked next to a 4640, and that is a G, John Deere Model G. Also of note, we did plug this tractor in last night as well. It's got that external block heater. Um, and it's a diesel, so without it, there'd be no way I'd be able to start this tractor this morning. But it should fire right up. This 3020 is also a power shift. One thing about Dusty, he's a jumper. He loves to jump up onto the bales and he loves to run and just loves to be here. I also like to only load every other day. That way we only have to start the 3020 every other day. So what I do is I get a second bell ready. Once I drop that bell off, I'll load it up again and then I'll take it home and keep it overnight with the bale.
now I'm gonna go and cut the strings and tie them off to the feeder. I just walk around the back and I cut it from the back so I can tie it up to the front. Here's dad's cattle, they're a mix of Herefords and Angus. He used to have all red Herefords, but he's slowly been breeding out two black Angus.
load up that last bale. I just loaded up the second bale, so I'm now ready to take the tractor home and be done for the day. Another note about this hay, it's a three-way grain hay. Um, it's, this particular variety is oats, barley, and peas. You cut the hay when it's in the milk stage, and since I'm set up for a hay operation, we bale it and feed it to the cattle, and it does quite well.